Hi. Now in the last part of this question, it says hence solve 4 sine squared x plus 9 cos x minus 6 equals 0 for x greater than or equal to 0 degrees but less than or equal to 720 degrees. Now in the first part of the question, we showed that we could re-express this as 4 cos squared x. Let's just write this down. So we had 4 cos squared x minus 9 cos x plus 2 equals 0. So what this means is that we've got a quadratic equation totally in cos x now. And you should be able to factorize this. And if we have two brackets in the usual way, we're going to have 4 cos x and cos x. That's going to multiply together to give 4 cos squared x. And then two numbers that multiply together to give plus 2. Well, I'm going to put minus 1 here and minus 2 here. And you'll see that if you multiply this out, you're going to get minus 8 cos x minus another cos x, which is minus 9 cos x. And then you've got your plus 2. So in the usual way, it would mean that either one of these factors is equal to 0. So therefore, 4 cos x minus 1 should equal 0. Or the other factor, cos x minus 2 equals 0. And for this equation here, if we were to add 1 and divide both sides by 4, we would end up with cos x equaling a quarter. And for this one, if we add 2 to both sides, we end up with cos x equals 2. Now, for this one, cos x equaling 2, you should know that cos x can only go between minus 1 and 1. And if you were to try and do this by taking the inverse cos of 2, you'd get an error on your calculator. So therefore, for this equation, there is no solution. So it means that all we've got to do now is solve this equation. So if we inverse cos both sides, we get x equals the inverse cos of a quarter. Now, whenever I get something like this, I would always draw a quadrant diagram. So I'll just draw it over here. We have this as naught degrees. And we have cosine, which is positive. And cosine is positive in the first quadrant. So I'll draw a line up there. And in the fourth quadrant. So you draw two lines in the usual way, equally inclined to the horizontal here marking that those two are the same angle. And now we start from here and we turn in an anti-clockwise direction. And this is the first value for x. Then we start from here again and go round to the next blue line. And this is another solution for x. Now this would be two solutions between 0 and 360 degrees. There's going to be more because we've got to go up to 720 degrees. But we'll cover that in a moment. Let's get the two answers here, the red x and the green x. Now, when you inverse cos a quarter on your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode. And if you do that, what you should find you get is 75.522 and so on degrees. So. That means that this red x here is the 75.522. That means that little blue angle in there is also 75.522, which means this blue angle in here is 75.522 and so on degrees. And we can use that to get the green x, because all you've got to do is do 360 degrees minus 75.522. And if you do that on your calculator, you should find you get 284.477 and so on degrees. Now it said 0 to 720 degrees. So if we take this red angle x, that's our 75 odd degrees. Now all I need to do is go around another 360 degrees because that would be another possible solution. So I can add 360 to this. And if you do that, you're going to get 435.522 and so on degrees. And the same applies to this green x. 
all you've got to do is go around another complete 360 degrees. So you could add 360 degrees to 284.477 and what you'll get is 644.477 and so on degrees. Now if we give all the answers now to one decimal place as requested x would equal 75.5 degrees 284.5 degrees 435.5 degrees and finally 644.5 degrees and we'll just say here that they're all to one decimal place okay so that brings us now to the end of this question